In this video, we're going to be looking at breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs are important because they help with your navigation. And also if your user is going through maybe a more complicated flow, it helps them recognize where they've been, which is, you know, quite helpful for some cases. Um, I know I've been to sites before where it is, um, it's nice to have in there because maybe, I don't know, the, the structure is a bit confusing. So you could use breadcrumbs as kind of like a temporary crutch to kind of navigate you through a process. Though I think most UI processes should be rather smooth and seamless. Breadcrumbs are pretty important. Um, you know, in some cases, if your designer, your team, or the executive of your company deems them to be. So we're going to be looking at those. We're going to be looking at some examples and coding that out. So let's famously go to the docs. So it says breadcrumbs or a breadcrumb navigation can help enhance how users navigate to a previous page of a website, especially if that website has many pages or products. And that's what I was discussing as well. Maybe you're doing some deep dive filtering into products on, I, I'm, you know, Amazon is the example, but maybe it's um, in insurance or banking or something along those lines. And there's lots of minutia and nuance that, um, you know, you need to guide the user through and you don't want them to accidentally back out of the flow altogether and not know how to start over. That's pretty frustrating. I think most of us has been through that. So breadcrumb is a nice way to, you know, show your user, you know, where they're at in the flow and have a bit more control as well. So looking down here, we see that there's four imports. We have breadcrumb, the item, the link, and the separator. And so the crumb, but breadcrumb, that is the parent container for breadcrumbs. We're going to see, you know, if none of these make sense. They shouldn't. You probably have not seen these before. We have the item. And then we have the link, so the thing they click on and does something. And then we have a separator, so it's the visual between each breadcrumb. So let's look for a very uh, easy example right here. So we have the breadcrumb parent component wrapping it here. And then we have three items with the open and closed um, elements right there. And then inside we have the link. And so it creates this up here. We have home, then we have docs, and then we have breadcrumb right here this could easily be home you know insurance and then life and then you know future breadcrumbs could be types of life insurance or maybe you're on here and it's home burgers and then the varying kinds of burgers you want to order it doesn't have to be one specific industry or focus it's just how do you strategize and use these through a, a complex flow and so we have the separators here, and all you have to do is go to the parent component breadcrumb here. And this is just a string right here. We have separator, and then we have a hyphen. And you notice you have the space on either side, so we have home about and contact. But you could just hyphenate in between, which I think is cool, because through composition, you could just kind of easily control that. And I think that is super cool and a super powerful thing. and allows you just to kind of create, you know, maybe, Maybe you don't think this is the most elegant thing ever, but trust me, when your boss tells you that, hey, we need to put a breadcrumb type of thing in here, and you whip this up quickly, you can be like, oh, you know, this does it. Uh, you just put the separator in there and it does it. They may have no idea how code works. All they're rating you on is how this looks and how it works. So it's making your job easier and hopefully your promotion easier. You could also use an icon. So the separator above is using a string. This we can inject an icon straight into here. And it's not just, you know, regular, you know, shocker icons. You could load your other icons in here that you want to use as well. So through composition, we could come down in here and we could change the font size to small here. So we are taking the breadcrumb here. We're saying we want the font size of everything down here to be smaller. If you notice up here, this is, you know, I wouldn't say significantly bigger, but as we scroll back down, this font is noticeably smaller than it previously was. So rather than go through and say font size and all these, all these, all these down here, you could just say, and that's, and it's a, uh, you know, most parent component here. This is what I want to cascade down to all of my children and it will do so. And once again, you could do stuff with a routing library there's a lot of accessibility not in the uh, like uh, 
you know, e-reader or, or special device kind of way, but accessibility for other technology to be injected into Shocker here. So you could use your reach or router, whatever you want to use to navigate. And you just come in and tell the breadcrumb link, hey, I want to function as a link from a reach router or a react router. I'm not covering reach or react in this video because every obviously it's chakra. But if you you know need to have a navigation system, you just inject it like this with the as, which is you know super powerful prop, and then you just go about your business. So here we have the accessibility. It says the breadcrumbs are rendered in the nav to denote that it is a navigation landmark. The breadcrumb nav has Arial label set to breadcrumb. And the breadcrumb item with is current page prop adds the aria current page to the breadcrumb link. Sorry, my dog is chewing so loud right now. Hopefully it's not being picked up. <laughs> and the separator role has uh, set to presentation to denote that it's for presentation purposes. Then we have the props down here. Always check out the props in case there's something you needed to do that. I haven't covered or isn't covered above in these sections here, but let's get to doing an example. All right, so all we have is just one example of a breadcrumb to show, but I think that y'all are going to be able to, you know, do a maximal amount with this. So it doesn't take like a zillion examples to show you how to do one. So let's get to it. So we have a basic breadcrumb right here. And so that's good, that's fine, that's dandy. You know, we have home, home. Let's actually come in and change a couple things here. So I know I copied and pasted a little bit. All right, so we have these tidbits right here. Now let's come in here because there's this forward slash. How do we override that? And that's very easy. We could come in here and just use the separator. As you can see, it changes. We could do this. We could come and do something ridiculous like that, too. And so that's how you would change the, you know, the thing that delineates between, like, the next item here. So these are obviously a breadcrumb link with home, docs, breadcrumb in here. There's one thing I want to point out. And so maybe you're using reach router or react router, whatever it may be. And you could do something, and this is just a hypothetical because I'm not covering those in this video. You could come in and do as link or reach link or react router link or rr link. But just be careful because there are very similar named items between components. You may have something like this. And once again, this is hypothetical. So you may have something like import reach router as rr link and this is important because it gives you the ability to rename things when you import stuff and so if you have some other link or some other component you've made called link you know react is gonna be like what the hell are you trying to do here and so it's important that if you were to come down here and you were to do something you know as Our R link, even though this is imaginary and this doesn't work, you could bring a routing library in here and say, no, I'm going to use this one instead, which is pretty nice as well. So let me delete this right here. And so the next thing I want to show you on here is uh, this is current page. So let's ch switch the last breadcrumb item to is current page. And what does this do? If we hover over it, it says, well, nothing right now, which is actually really sad on their part. All right. Had to do a little edit there because I forgot to put this in my notes and it's not very well documented, which is strange. This is what happens when you make like 68 videos and you have a bunch of like separate snippets and you don't always document what you do. But 
when a breadcrumb item has its current page, this prop here attribute adds the uh, aria current page to the breadcrumb link. And this is helpful for people with screen readers, assisted devices that let them know what page they are currently on. So sorry for that confusion there. Um, maybe I should just take better notes next time. But this is how you do a breadcrumb in a nutshell and how to use the breadcrumb item link. And then also in our imaginative scenarios, hook it up to reach router, react router, or whatever comes out in the future. So if you like what I do, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.